Howdy folks, Moose here. I'm a little late in this, I realize, because it came out a year ago, but I realized I hadn't done a video on the D500. So I thought, hey, better late than never, right? It's the D500. Now, my main camera body is the D5. It's what I've depended on. It's a great camera. And they both came out at the same time. They have a lot of the same attributes. And even though I've had the D500 for a year, its main role in the office has been video. We have two of these, and they're basically video machines, and they just do an amazing job. I'm using the, the flat picture control set, used shooting either 30 or 60 4K video with this thing. It does a stunning job. It wasn't until this last February, and I was down in Florida, that I realized this camera really has some other attributes that other people knew about. I was just slow coming to the party. I want to tell you about those. So first and foremost, what you can see is my favorite way of using the D500. It's with a 300 PF attached, either alone or with the TC14E3. And this combination is absolutely, to me, mind-boggling, study, uh, stunning. It's steady too. It's stunning. In fact, I really had the 300 PF on the D500 than on the D5. So what happened was down Florida and we had these snowy egrets flying around this pond. The pond was going down because of the drought in Florida. Birds, uh, the fish were concentrated. The birds were going crazy. And so I'm sitting there just panning back and forth, back and forth. This thing was nailing the picture just left and right, left and right. It was getting the exposure and the focus dead on. Now I was using auto area F, aperture priority, but it just took amazing pictures. So then I says to myself, hmm, Moose, maybe we should look at this further as a still camera platform. So why would I pick this over the D5? Well, first and foremost, you know, you're, you're getting these 10 frames per second. It's a DX format. You have a buffer. It's not quite unlimited like the D5. Really darn close, okay? But you're talking about this, this amazing small little machine that just works. Now, Probably notice I don't have the, the battery grip on here. So I've tried it. Now I tried it the first time, and the main reason was for shooting video. See if we could extend the battery life. And for us, that grip didn't really do much for the expense for battery life for shooting video. Now if you make the D500 your primary camera body, which a lot of people are now, which I think is really smart, you might want to have that grip so you have the vertical firing button, which I miss. Now, for myself, the D500, all I'm doing is using it with a 300 PF or with a converter, which gives me either 450 with the DX sensor, okay, with the 300 alone, or you get up to 640 when you put that 1.4 on here. You're just getting this amazing small little package that's incredibly sharp really fast, responsive autofocus in a small package. Now, since I'm just using it like this, I don't have the battery grip. It's not my primary body, it's my secondary body. So the D5 would be on the 800 millimeter on the tripod. This would be on a strap on my shoulder, photographing birds like flying overhead or egrets flying across the pond. Now, in that mode, I don't think there's anything finer out there. It definitely parallels the D5 in any way, shape, or form. Now, I have used this on the 800. Why would I put this on the 800 when D5 is there? Well, a good example would be like this recently I was shooting in Maggie Marsh. And you got little birds, little wobblers, they're bouncing around. Now, even though you put the teleconverter on, and the teleconverter is on the 800, and you get the D5 on there, I often went to high-speed crop to get the image size I wanted to tell a story. Well... This is already got a DX sensor. Don't have to do all that. Just put this body on there and away you go. It worked really well. I learned a couple things. First of all, not having this extra bulk on the back of that 800 that I'm used to with the D5, moving this around quickly, a little bit of a challenge, okay? But when it comes to actually the photograph, the final result, the D500 did just a great a job as the D5. So, the D500. You've got all these great D5 attributes in it, you know, everything from the uh, 
expanded range. You go plus compensation. You got all the picture control sets. You got 10 frames per second. You have the Xpeed 3. You've got the big, beautiful finder. You can easily put an eye cup on the back, you know, because you've got the high eye point finder. You have the amazing tilt out monitor, which I think is just, it just rocks. I just absolutely love this. You have easy, simple controls. You can use the wireless flash SP5000 system with this. I mean, it just everything the D5 does, except for not quite the same frames per second, not the unlimited buffer, it's a DX sensor, as a physical smaller form factor. So, you know, it, for wildlife photography, I can see this being your primary body and just rocking it. So, sorry it took me a year to get the video out. I want you to know that the D500, probably my most favorite DX camera body I've ever used and definitely my favorite second um, body that I shoot ever. It just does a great job. D500, 300PF, killer combo. Check it out.